today I talk about maximum likelihood estimation and gradient descent. It is part of my series of lecture on machine learning. Maximum likelihood estimation is a method of estimating the parameters of an assumed probability distribution given some observed data. This is achieved by maximizing a likelihood function so that under the assumed statistical model, the observed data is most probable. So it depends on the observed data. We work with the natural logarithm of the likelihood function. Uh, hence, it is known as log likelihood. So if uh, I have taken this uh, from this uh, source, uh, if this is the natural logarithm of likelihood function, and uh, then the partial derivatives of log likelihood with respect to each parameter when equated to zero, these are known as likelihood equations. And we can solve these equations to get the parameters. However, it is not feasible all the times. We may also require Hessian matrix to calculate the parameter values. So uh, what is maximum likelihood estimate of linear regression? So this is the log likelihood function. And uh, we implement the log likelihood function of the probability mass function of residuals. And we already know that the residuals are normally distributed with mean zero and standard deviation of sigma. So this is after solving this. And to maximize the likelihood equation, we need to minimize the mean square error of the training set. So this is the uh, this is same as the mean square error regression equation. The parameters chosen to maximize the likelihood are exactly those chosen to minimize the mean squared error. This we have seen in our previous slide. Then this is loss or cost function. So it is the partial derivative of cost function. And uh, the cost function here in linear regression as we have seen is the mean square error itself. And the gradient descent is given by this. This is after calculating the first a partial derivative, first partial derivative with respect to each parameter and parameters are from 1 to j and the data is from 1 to n. This I have taken from this side. Now we come to maximum likelihood estimate of logistic regression. For logistic regression, we need probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution. This is the probability mass function of Bernoulli distribution where k is either 0 or 1. So this is either 0 or 1. And uh, so this is the likelihood equation or likelihood function. And uh, this is the log likelihood function. So it is as observed value of outcome variable multiplied by log of predicted value plus 1 minus observed value multiplied by log of 1 minus predicted value. This is also known as the loss or cost function. And uh, on, on taking the partial derivative, we get the gradient of logistic regression, gradient of log likelihood in case of logistic regression as this for parameter uh, uh, iterated as j and the data iterated as i. These uh, I have taken from this source. So in general, we can update the parameters uh, because I, as I told you, it is difficult to calculate the parameters. We need to start with a random value of parameter and then we update the parameter at each step using this for uh, equation or a formula where this is the learning rate and this is the first partial derivative 
of the loss function. This is the loss function. And uh, then uh, there is another method known as Newton's method where we don't require the learning date. And uh, this is the uh, formula for Newton's method. So in machine learning, we do gradient descent. So this is the uh, illustration of gradient descent, the cost function, the use value of this uh, shape. And uh, uh, initially, we uh, start with the random value of our parameter. Then we calculate the gradient or slope by first partial derivative. Then we, by using the learning rate, we keep on uh, uh, updating the value of our parameters and we reach the global minimum here. So there are two types of gradient descent in machine learning. One is batch gradient descent, which refers to calculating the derivative from all training data before calculating an update. Whereas in stochastic gradient descent, we calculate the derivative from each training data instance and then calculate the update at each instance. This is the illustration of stochastic gradient descent and simple gradient descent. Uh, so this uh, have these this kind of movement and uh, apart from learning rate we also require momentum here in stochastic gradient descent so this is all for today about maximum likelihood estimate and gradient descent thank you very much